understanding VLANs. As LANs grew bigger and bigger and faster and faster, the need to segment to cut down on collisions became more and more urgent. For flexibility, physical segmenting gave way to logical, virtual segmenting with VLANs. However, this practice creates isolated pieces of LANs, even if virtual, that are tied together with a special type of bridge called a switch. Unlike the original Ethernet, where all stations on the Ethernet network received all traffic, bridges received traffic on a port, examine the traffic to determine the appropriate destination, and send the traffic on appropriate ports when able to do so. By using bridging, Junos OS reduces the collision domain to just the single switch port and the devices attached to it. In fact, when just a single host is attached to a single switch port, you no longer need to worry about collisions. In these cases, you can enable full duplex operation where both sides can transmit simultaneously and ignore collisions. LANs have another concern besides collisions. In some cases, switches can't determine the appropriate ports on which to transmit packets. In these cases, they flood packets, sending them on every switch port to make sure that the traffic reaches its destination. Also, in the case of broadcast traffic, traffic intended to reach every host on the network, understanding Ethernet, the switches must send the traffic on every port to ensure that it reaches every host. In this case, the entire LAN is a single broadcast domain. On a normally functioning network, hosts send broadcast traffic for many reasons. Because this broadcast traffic must reach every host in the network, it can produce increasingly large amounts of traffic when the broadcast domain grows. One way to reduce the size of a broadcast domain is to split LANs into smaller LANs, but this approach typically requires separate equipment for each LAN. Thankfully, there is a better way, VLANs. Instead of thinking of each network as a single LAN, a switch can divide a LAN into subsets called virtual LANs, or VLANs. Switches treat VLANs as if each VLAN were a separate LAN. So, when a switch receives broadcast traffic from a device within a VLAN, it sends the traffic only to those devices in the same VLAN. In addition, when the switch needs to flood traffic, it sends the traffic only to the other ports in the same VLAN on which the traffic was received. In this way, VLANs significantly reduce the amount of broadcast or flooded traffic the devices on the VLAN see, thus decreasing the amount of bandwidth used for this traffic.